Hello, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be ranking Doc Martens, the collaborations. You know, Doc Martens has done a lot of different collaborations. In this video, we're just gonna be using that tier list to rank each collaborations that Doc Martens has done on their website. The highest one is what I love. After that is what I like. Underneath that is okay, neutral. Underneath that one is what I dislike. And then the last one is just no, things that I'll probably won't even spend my time on. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is the Dr. Martin website. We're just gonna start the collaborations with this first one, Clash. It's a partnership, 46 years in the making with their attitude, style, and a pair of Doc Martens on your feet. Clash changed the face of rock and roll. Let's see how they look like. These are very shiny. They're like the uh, platinum, or this one is shiny. The Clash, it's okay to me. I necessarily don't like whenever there's too much like, what is it, labels or lettering on things. I feel like kind of gives it a date. So with this, I don't know, is this not popping? But I do like the orange instead of the yellow stitching or it looks orange to me, maybe it's not. So with that, I am going to give the clash, it's okay, nothing too crazy. Next, we have the Bape. The Bape, I mean, they're well known. They look nice. Between these two, I'll have to say, maybe I'll get this green one. I mean, it looks nice. It's just unique. There's like, for some reason, for me, I just think like there's nothing too special about these, but I'm sure it's going to be costing a lot. Oh, I can still buy some for six. For 150 not bad, actually. I like the Bape thing in the sole I'd even see that but yeah these I actually like I'll say I like them but I don't love them I don't know they're just unique looking okay so this next one is the engineered garment it says our fifth collaboration with yeah I'm gonna pronounce that person's name wrong label page tribute to the timeless manufacturing technique of our North Hampshire North oh this is a mouthful North Hampshire share North Hampshire tin show <laughs> all right let's just get right into it so with this I mean it looks from a distance you probably can't tell but once you like zoom in and look at it I like them like this black one I feel like I can rock them but it's unique. How much does it cost though? Two, two thirty. I don't know. For that price range, that's that's a little different for me, man. Two thirty is a little bit steep, you know. Um, I would say they're okay. I mean, the biggest difference is like one side is like this, and the other side is like that. I mean, yes, they look nice, but I don't think like the price tag just kills me. So they would be okay. I think it's this one. They're okay. The next one is National Gallery. I actually like National Gallery. Like this one, it looks nice, but honestly, I feel like it's something that I cannot wear. Like they're more of a collectibles item, you know? For example, look at how it's in a picture frame. It looks nice. I've actually seen, I think someone had had one of these and they said like, after they put it on for a couple, it got scuffed up basically. So Van Gogh, Van Gogh. I mean, it looks nice. It's something that I can have to put in my collection, but never to wear. Let's see how much it is. 130, not bad. I mean, I would say it's okay if I wanna build a collection, but it's not like, oh my gosh. It's okay. And now let's go to the sold out ones. So these are the Doc Martens that's already sold out. This Ricky, Ricky Owens, for some reason, every time I see these Ricky Owens, they like, they're enticing. They're like, uh, if you get them, they're everything. But the price tag on these will make you cry. So that's why they're just okay. They don't fit my style, but I can definitely see why like a lot of people are all for it. Look at these, the 1981s, like, oh, they're just unique. I've seen like one person on YouTube talk about these and yeah, I mean, good kudos to them because they cost a lot of money. So these ones, I don't dislike. They're okay. They're something that I would not put on. Like, But if I see somebody else put it on, I'm like, oh, kudos. This is only $370. Mm, it's, it's a steep price tag, but it's very unique, you know? And I feel like it's durable too. So yeah, I, I'll, I'll give it the 
okay, just above dislike, just because it's not my style. It's not my style at all. I will never see myself putting it on, so it's okay. Like, I don't know, it's just okay. So the next one is the Great Frog. With this, it's unique, you know? It's a very gothic look. Like, I can see myself putting this on, but I'm not like full goth. I'm not even into like the punk inspired or anything, but it's, I like the jewelry on it. It just looks unique, it looks different, especially this one. Like the, the Jaden boots, oh my gosh, these look, they look unique, but once you see them, it's like, oh, okay, I see you. I mean, yeah, I think they're something that, well, I like, I'm not gonna lie to you, I, I like them. So they're gonna go above okay, something I like. Boom. The next collab is the Betty Boop. I mean, it's for females. We all know, or we've all seen the Betty Boop thing. And uh, yeah, we've all seen the Betty Boop. I mean, it's nice. I mean, I guess, like, I don't know, I'll gift it to like my cousin or if I had a, like a girlfriend or something, but let's see. I like the detailing in this though. Like you can't really see what it is until you get close up, so. I don't know, I like how unique it's like, oh wow, you got this. But if people don't know about it, they won't just recognize, oh, that's what this is. They'll just think it's a regular old Jaden Boots. So I would say for the Betty Boop, I'll give it something that, ah, uh, it's between like and okay. So I'll have to say, <sighs> I have to say okay, because I, I can't put it on. Our next collab is the, what the pleasures i mean these look unique at first i was like oh, probably not my style especially with the big lettering across it i'm not a big fan of like big lettering or anything across it but like once i clicked on it and they showed like some up close like this right here i actually like the texture and everything i just don't like the too much um i'm not sure what do you call the tie-dye I believe going on but it's I don't dislike it actually I dislike the color but I like like the, the texture and stuff so I have to say dislike just just to put one down I mean I like it but I don't know it's okay but then yeah it's okay I, I won't say dislike it's okay the next collab is WB let's see what they got they got the Goonies I mean these look uniquely nice like it's weird but cool at the same time and then even this at the back never say die i mean i don't know it's it's nice to me for some reason it's just unique you know just from a distance you probably won't know what it is until you get closer and you're like oh these are nice but the lost boys i don't know i'm not a big fan of the lost boys or just the like i said the print i like this right here though but let me see what well, Beetlejuice. Uh, I'm not a big fan of like the prints on, on the the docks. So that's two out of three. Uh, I don't want to dislike it. It's it's okay. I'll just say some things are not for me, but it's okay. Two out of three. I don't dislike it. I, I at least like one. The FL. What's this? Futura Laboratories. I mean, these are good, but I just have to say the only thing about these is that little strap. I don't know. For some reason, it just reminds me of like an ankle monitor. Like, no, I'm not a big fan of it. And then the the print and everything. No, I'm sorry. This will probably be my first dislike. Like, oh, they don't even have it. So yeah, that one. No, I'm sorry. I'm not rocking with it that much it's it's unique but no not for me what's this heaven by mark jacobs i mean this is nice it looks cool for females ah uh, i mean i would just say okay since i'm a guy i mean what am i gonna do with this the next collab is supreme 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 a lot of people know supreme they just did this spider web i mean it's cool but for me, I mean, I don't know. It's just not like iconic enough. Like it's good, but it's one of those that I could probably wear once or twice and then I have to put it on the shelf to just look at it because it's supreme. I mean, let's be honest. 
I don't know between these three what color I even get. I'll probably get the red one just because it pops. Oh, I can't even see it, but yeah, so Supreme, uh, have to say it's, it's all right. It's not, it's not too crazy for me. Supreme is just, mm. the next one is a cold wall. When I look at these, at first I didn't like them until like I got a closer view of it. Like, I don't know what's that top layer thing called, but it looks unique like this. I don't know what it's called. Hold up, let me, let me click on one of them. Yeah, like this thing right here, for some reason it's just calling my name. Like, it looks unique like this thing. It looks nice. It's something that I, I'm liking it, you know, even though it has this big old rectangle thing at the back, I, uh, it's removable, so. But it's unique, I don't know. For some reason, it just looks unique. It's nice to me, so I like it. I'll put it in the like. Next collab is Neighborhood. Ooh, with the Chelsea boots, my weakness. I'll have to say Chelsea boots and then the 14 or 61s, they're nice, but this Neighborhood strip is like killing me though. Honestly, I, I can see myself put it on. I don't know. Love, hate for the, the splash on there. Sometimes it can look cool, and then sometimes it's like, ah, what is that, you know? So it's iffy with me, but I'll put it under something I like, because I do have a weakness when it comes to the 1460, I mean the Chelsea boots. Our next is, what's this? Haven? Heaven? No. I don't know how to pronounce it, but Canadian street streetwear veteran. These are unique, and for some reason I like them. Like, these are uniquely cool. Like, you've, I've never seen other docks like this or made like this, you know, which make it look cool. I just wish like the stitching was a different color, but what I've seen so far, can't go wrong with this. So I'm definitely loving this. Boom, where is it at? Right here, yeah. I'll, I'll get me a pair of those. Next we have Lazy OAF. How do you even pronounce that? Lady, lazy, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. It has been, it said, the lazy O has been rejecting the status quo for over 20 years with this unapolog unapologetic graphic design borderline imagery. Okay. I mean, they look nice. I would say, like, yeah, for females, it's one of those, like, oh, it's cute and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I guess a guy can wear the, I don't know, probably the 1461s, because usually Sinclair's, I mean, it's it can be unisex where females wear it, but the box, though, that's another thing. I, I like the box. I mean, they look cute for females. So, yeah, I can see myself getting it for, like, my girl or whatever. So, yeah, I'll put that as, okay, just because I'm a guy and, um, yeah the next collab is yeah i'm not going to be able to pronounce this somebody's going to have to help me with this sui coke Su i'm sorry i feel so bad but yeah these they look nice but it's not something like it's unique it's just not oh my gosh like damn i really need them like especially the the um like this one it looks unique, you know, but I don't know. Is it comfortable, like super comfortable? Like what's the selling point apart from just the appearance, you know? So this one I'll put, I don't want to say dislike, but it's okay. It's, it's just okay. Let's just say that. The next collab is Good Hood, London, classic. Mmm, look at that. Yeah, big man things in it, fam. Whoa swear down yeah what's this the one-on-ones the ankle boots i mean they look nice my only thing is like for over here right i like the box too dr martin's please improve your boxes the cardboard box which is the title please no like this is nice but if anything just like that you can't see this on top or things like that that's probably the only thing i've never had no one-on-ones but i would love to have some so i'll give this it's okay. I won't, I won't be like, oh my gosh, I really like them. It's like, yeah, they look cool. 
Mm, the next one is, yeah, I, I can't pronounce this one either. A small Canadian town where three generations of founders, Jamie, I think, London, Lin, Lin, Linden. All right. So, th so this one I definitely cannot pronounce. Her, 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 Herschel. So this one I cannot pronounce. Herschel, I believe it's pronounced. But yeah, let's see what they got. I mean, they look like utility boots, and hmm, I don't know. Like, what's the selling point here? It's waterproof. It's I guess this is more for performance at 130. I mean, not bad, but not my style. The red Dr. Martin thing. I don't know. This not for me. I don't dislike it. Yeah, not for me. I'll I'll just dislike it. I mean, it's cool, but ain't no way, boss. All right, the next collab is this JJ Triple J June. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it wrong again. Oof, man, these pronunciations are good to me. <laughs> but they look nice. They look very like old school, authentic, you know, and I do like the crazy horse leather. So this one is something that I would like, you know, or no, they're okay. They're not like, I'm looking for some pizzazz. Whenever you do a collab, I'm looking for something that's like an extension of what you've already seen, you understand? But for me, it's not given that. So the next one is Gene Michael, ba yeah, I'm gonna pronounce his last name wrong. So this is very unique though. I like the, the look of it, it's very artistic, you know? I can see myself wearing this every now and again, special occasion, or just to buy it to keep it. So I, I like how they do that. You can see underneath, it's like a whole little thing that probably you only know, or if, if you take them off and somebody sees it, it's like, oh wow, these are cool. And you're like, oh yeah. <laughs> So these ones, I'll say I like them. I don't know, they're okay, but I do like them. Uh, I won't buy them, but they're they're good just to look at. So you got the stut 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 stutsy stutsy stut stut yeah. We got these next. So um, they're giving me like Timberland vibes. Like I mean, I understand, but it's no. Nah. I'm sorry, I don't like it. I feel like it's, I don't know how Tim's felt about that, but I'll, I'll have to dislike that just because it's giving me Timberland vibes. And the next is Amos, you know, anime looks cool. I just don't like the color. Or actually you can change the red laces. So they're okay. I don't know if I'll buy them, buy them, but they look cool for like whenever, or I don't know, they're just not my style. I do like the you can tighten it and then you don't have to tie your shoelace, which makes life easier. So these are okay. I don't dislike them. So they're a-okay. Next, we got another bait. These are just, I don't know, bait. Fell. I'm not saying they're overrated, but these are just, no. I, I've i never been too into bapes like that, so I won't dislike them. They're okay if you get them, but I'm not like, oh my gosh, I need some bapes. So they're okay. This one, the coat, I mean, they look nice. They remind me of um, Valentine's Day. I'll definitely get this just to rock them on Valentine's Day. It looks so cool. So, um, yeah, but that's about all. I like how deep the red is. Like, oof. So, yeah, they're okay. Or, I, no, I can't wear them that much. Or, I don't know. It would just be weird getting them because they're so red. Our next is X Girl. X girl, I mean, they look nice, unique. This looks very unique. I wonder how comfortable these are. How comfortable are these? Look at this. Like, I might have to try these on just to walk in them. Like, why don't all Doc Martin sandals got this type of padding on them? Like, definitely. I'm pretty sure somebody would be like, oh, these are nice. So they're okay. Next is the Hello Kitty collab. I mean, Hey, Hello Kitty, they're okay, I mean, boom. Why didn't they have these type of shoelace with these ones? I feel like they would bang. Or, oh, they do. <laughs> so, yes and no, it's, it's okay. It's not like, oh my gosh, it's like, oh, it's cute. It's like a niche type of thing, so. Soft net and these are nice. I, 
definitely not gonna do this camo, but this one, I can see myself putting these on, looking nice. They just take the 1461s to like another level just a little bit. And it's subtle, it's not too much like boom in your face, like buy these now. But it's like, if you buy them, you know, you know? What? So yeah, I'll definitely say I, I like them. Mm, I like them. Our next one is the Bodegas. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But for some reason, these just look uniquely nice, like industrial, the steel toe. If anybody has a pair of steel toe Doc Martens, please let me know. I want to see how comfortable they are, especially during like the summertime and stuff like that. But yeah, I just enjoy, just look at how these are built. Like, I don't know if these are like slip or slip whatever resistant, but yeah, looks very subtle, very cool. Like, goes with anything, hello, right up my alley. So these are definitely, definitely a yes. The next one is Needles, and they did a whole collab with the Chelsea Boots, the 2976, and boy, oh boy, do I like these. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Even this little thing up here, I like how they took it and made it their own. Like, yes, I would buy these no matter what. Boom. Black Sabbath. Before there was metal, there was Black Sabbath. So this one, definitely a keeper for, I would say, something that I would just keep and not wear because of wear and tear, this might fade. So no. These are more memorable pieces. So something I like, something that I'm not going to go crazy over. So yeah, Black Sabbath, it's okay because I can't wear it that much. You got Scotch. These ones, unique. Ooh, nice. Okay, I like it. Something different. The 1490s, I have some big calves. I don't think they'll fit, but I like how unique they are though. Like I can definitely every now and again see myself put it on, especially 1460s with this, just the zipper and everything. I know you can remove it, but how long does it take to put on and off is a big question. So with this, I'll have to say that they're okay. They're okay. So out of all those collabs, which one did I get wrong? Which one do you like? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.